How a child asks you a question that made you swallow hard, like swallow hard again, roll your eyes, tap your head, pinch yourself, and then compose to answer that question. <laughs> Hello guys, good day and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ada, your favorite teacher. Yeah, your favorite teacher. Cool. <laughs> and in today's video, I want to talk about five very hot questions from my students that got me almost unfounded five questions from my students that almost got me unfounded before we do that before we go into discussing the five questions i'd like to say a hearty welcome to everyone who is across this channel right now like guys the reason this channel is on and off and if you are a no subscriber i'd like to say a very big thank you i really appreciate your effort i really appreciate your subscribing and viewing my videos without you this channel is going to be dead with you the channel is sustained and if you are new to this channel i like you to please subscribe go through my videos and like them if you do and of course share and become part of what happens in this community so back to the question in today's video like i said i'll be talking about five questions from my students that got me almost dumbfounded like five very hot seat kind of questions five very 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 like who wants to be in that kind of question the only difference is this time around i'm not sitting anywhere i'll just be in my classroom for myself or doing my thing digitally and this is will come with their question and they will throw me off balance and guys it's not easy to answer these questions but then in some cases i like to find my feet and look for how to give them the most most reasonable, most reasonable answers, and of course, I am going to drop the answers I gave them here, and then you tell me for yourself if these answers were good enough or not. So, like I said, though, that was how I was saying for myself one morning, you know, I, guess it was, I think it was a vows day, and after morning assembly, we cautioned the students about the whole relationship stuff, and then how they are already having girlfriends and all that and then how we don't want to see any of them going to anybody in the name of giving presents and things like that and while i was sitting myself in my home room or doing my thing did a student came to me and said miss ada why don't you guys encourage young love and i'm like what am i supposed to say to this child what does he even mean by not encouraging young love and from his point he said yes i have not allowed them to have girlfriends if they wanted to or girlfriends if they wanted to that they could have relationships here and from here it would groom and groom and go into something worthwhile well i looked at this boy here and then i said the problem is not about encouraging or discouraging young love of course love is a beautiful thing but the problem is probably when you get into things like this at a very tender and early age you know you may be overwhelmed by the kind of responsibility these things would want you to put in the kind of effort energy that this would require from you and that would become a little of distraction on you at your own end so to avoid being distracted to avoid being confused to avoid being overwhelmed and to even avoid torture all of this is one of the things that can torture you so much i hope they know so to avoid all these kind of things torture being overwhelmed and things like that is advice that you stay away from love study now and when you are all grown and then you can make decisions for yourself you can find yourself a very lovely wonderful girl or boy and then have an affair with them well he seemed to fight and that was how i solved that problem question number two i survived the first one <laughs> all right so this girl came to my class one hot afternoon like that too and then she said miss ada when are you getting married? Yeah. Miss Adam, when are you getting married? Like, I was so confused. You're not talking about marriage or about anybody who's getting married. You're not going to get married at that moment. This girl just came out of the room and she was asking when I, I was going to get married. Like, she kept a husband or a wife somewhere for me, waiting for me to come and marry. <laughs> well, guys, amidst the shock and confusion, I told her, Sweetheart, if you can bring somebody for me to marry at the moment, I will marry. But if you can't bring anybody for me, just leave me alone, let me be. 
see this children, I need that talking about how to make money and spoil myself. Hmm? My best is not asking me when I'm going to get married. Like, when is that one supposed to be my problem again? So guys, the third question, question for my students that got me the founded, almost the founded, was Miss Ada, why do you like us sometimes and hate us sometimes? Why do you love us sometimes and hate us sometimes? Guys, the girl has just gone and students will be everywhere, which is to say the place may get a little noisy. So just don't mind that. Alright. So I was wondering, it was actually too much for me because I can't imagine myself as somebody who loves sometimes and hates sometimes. But I think this person is saying this because sometimes I may be so nice and then maybe when I want to get them to do something that I really want them to do, I will become strict and firm. I think that was the problem what this child saw as not liking them but the truth is i told her that i can't be sweet all the time we all have our times when we are not wonderful people when we get angry and my getting angry and trying to see that they do what i want them to do doesn't mean that i hate them it means i love them and i want the best for them always so the next question from my students that got me really the founded was Ma, why are you being a teacher? Ma, why are you a teacher? You are young. Young people don't teach. Teaching is just for people who are almost very old and all that. Now, when this person asked me this question, I didn't even have so much to say to him. I asked, are you not happy that you have a young teacher? You're supposed to be happy that you have a young teacher who is also passionate about teaching you. So instead of asking why I'm a teacher, you just say, thank the Lord I have a young teacher. <laughs> uh, and of course, I also remember to add that you know teaching is about passion, and since it's something I'm passionate about, like that's what I'm doing. Because where else can I be in the classroom? But I don't think I'm going to be very happy being somewhere else in the classroom. Yeah, I remember I added that. Next question from my students that got me really worked up and almost not knowing what to say was, "Ma, are you leaving us soon?" You go to a point and you know teachers they are all living probably your point you know that they're not being paid and all that and people found better things you are doing with their lives and people left and then this man came and they were asking Miss Ada are you leaving us anytime soon? Well, truth is if I find something else I would leave but to avoid making them feel bad and avoid making them feel sad which of course was evident in their faces I told them that I may not be leaving soon. But that doesn't mean I may not be living soon. If you have any better job anyway, just allow your people. Me. You all have to move, you all have to progress, you all have to get better. Yeah. But that was my answer to them. I had to, you know, make them feel comfortable. Um as much as I wish I can tell them the truth. As much as I wish I can tell them that if I find something else better, I would leave. I didn't tell them the truth. I told them that I am here with them. I am not leaving anytime soon. Which doesn't mean when you see that good job, you won't holler me. When you see a good job, holler your baby. You're not burying my own blicker cord here. <laughs> Alright. So guys, these are the five questions from my students. That got me almost dumbfounded and I was almost not knowing what to say. Me like this that can talk, that have answers to every question. I almost didn't know what to say because these questions were coming from kids. And I didn't even know how to address them or why they were even asking in the first place. So guys, we've come to the end of today's video and I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for watching to the end, if you watch to the end. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs, share this video if you can. And guys, subscribe. The channel needs subscribers to grow. Subscribe. And I'll be very, very grateful. Alright. So to we see again. This would be a bye from me and I'll see you next time and before then, stay safe.